Imagine that you can all of a sudden have a chance to design port the way you want. Imagine that there is a technology out there that allows you to do that in real time. All of a sudden the way in which you can construct the city can take into account all sorts of issues that were not, there, were, were not possible to include before. You know, the sense of place, history, the overlay between what exists and what you can propose can be manipulated by you the way you want. This is basically what the installation is about and what the installation wants to trigger a reaction towards you and the way in which you construct and experience uh, the city. Um, that's why we called it Molecular City. Um, yeah, when we, when we conceptualized the idea further, we used some models or ideas from the, the last five years of teaching at the Royal College of Art, of our students, plus actually some other uh, monuments and architectures that we playfully arrange in Porto. So with the title Molecular City, we were thinking how something as simple as one molecule can lead to the complexity of organic life or of other um, components. So within this um, installation, you have the chance to always reconfigure Porto, to always work on how would different narratives embedded in objects actually play with each other and kind of form a larger picture. So the viewer, the uh, exhibitor, the interactive part happens within the narrative of Porto with cultural elements from around the world, from students, speculations on architecture. Um, so the, this installation is made possible because of an AIR technology, which is augmented reality, when uh, everyone can just hold uh, a marker like that and position his model, his virtual model, into the real world, in this case the city of Porto, the map of the city of Porto. So that's something simple for everyone to play and experience and enjoy.